Okay, in this presentation, I am going to look at time series analysis. And in particular, what I'm going to do in this instance is look at the inbuilt data set called Air Passengers. So all I have to do there is call it Data Air Passengers. Just as a remark, it's capital A, capital P, and it's a bit of a long name. So what I'm going to do here very quickly is just call the help file. I just have it there commented it out, but I'll rerun it just so we can have a quick look at what we get. So I had it running in the background, so it just came back up there. So the classic Box and Jenkins airline data. Monthly totals of international airline passengers 1949 to 1960. So it's a very simple data set, and it's been used quite a lot. Uh, also, just actually as a remark, there's some useful bits of code. I'll come back to that another time. So what I'm going to do actually is just give it a shorter name. So I'm just going to shorten the name, and I'm going to call it APTS. Okay, just make it a, the name much shorter. TS, just to signify that it is a TS object. First off, let me have a look at... First off, let me have a look at the data set. So ap.ts, there we go. So that's the essentially the data set we're working with. Let's get the class of that. So it's, it's TS object, that's important. That Keep that in mind, that's actually one of the key things we're going to do here. So just a couple of other things we can check is the mode and the structure. Uh, I think actually class is really what we need, but you know, mode and structure are just also very useful. So there's 144 observations from 1949 to 1961, okay? Let's check out where the start date and the end date are. So the commands are start and end. So 1949, month 1, and 1960, month 12. So it brings us right up to the end of 1960, okay? So let's just have a look at the frequency. This is important to know. So we can sort of gather here that it's at 12. That means it's monthly. One more thing I'm going to do is to check the summary of ap.ts. Just have a quick look at that. It just gives us some num basic numerical statistics. So in the case of a time series, it's not usually considered very informative. Anyway, I'm going to clear the screen, and what we can do is look at some plots. So what I'm going to do here, I have a line of code ready just off screen. Let's just paste that in, and I won't run it just yet. Well, actually, it has run. And what that does is just actually plot the data a very using a very simple plot. Line width 2, just to make it a little bit easier to read. So let's just fold that down and bring that up. There we go. That is what our time series data looks like. So going from 1949 up to 1960, the end of 1960, we can see a steady increase. And within the year, we can also sort of see the peaks, which, let's hazard a guess, that sort of means in a, each year, there's a big increase in flights around the summertime. Maybe a little bit of an increase around Christmas as well. So that's grand. So I think we'll actually have enough to start with here. And what I'm going to try and do is look at a real life data set from the internet, uh, financial data, and we'll apply some of the same things that we've learned here to this data set, to that data set even. Okay, we'll leave it there.